Hello, this is Sudhakar Maparthi. Today I'm going to talk about routing tables in VPC. So you can read this documentation, route tables, example, routing options, working with the tables, all that. So these are the contents, routing priority, routing table concepts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this keeps going on and on and on and on and on. So there's a nice diagram out there. So you can also take a look at it. And uh, there's some more examples, more examples and uh, some rules to consider and uh, how it resolves, what destination it needs to send the traffic, all that good stuff. Anyway, so I got my C1C2 diagram. Let's switch to our C1C2 diagram. So this is the one that uh, summarizes all that English text. So this is where you will see the power of C1C2 diagrams. And I'm going to compress all that knowledge into these with a bunch of arrows. And uh, when you go back and read, it should make uh, some sense. So it took some time to organize. Uh, could have been better, but uh, let's take a look at it. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my invisible pen initially, and then I will draw permanent arrows later, whichever is appropriate. So we already know that a VPC uh, has uh, multiple subnets. You can have multiple subnets in a VPC. Once you have a subnet, you need to attach that to a routing table so that we know which routing table has the information, how, how traffic is directed from this subnet. So if you Okay, when you create a VPC, when you create an account, you automatically have a VPC. And it also creates a default uh, main table. It's a, the route table, one, one, one main table, it will create for you. So if you don't explicitly attach the subnet to a route table, it will implicitly implicitly associates this is the one implicitly is it implicitly associated or explicitly associated if you don't it will automatically attach to that main table and i can also create my own tables route table custom table route tables so only one is main table so is this the one main table or is this the main table? So we're going to tell which one is the main table. So it's just a flag. Yes. Whenever you see is, that means it's a flag. Yes or no. Those are the two objects. All things that I have written in yellow are objects. And then the labels in red or classes. So entities. So understanding all that text written in the documentation is nothing but making those connections among these entities. So that means there is a structure that we are going to form. So now I'm going to use my arrows, permanent arrows. So a VPC has multiple subnets. And this every subnet should have a route table associated with it. And if you don't associate it implicitly, it's automatically associated for you because this is this is designated as main table. And uh, so all what, what is that we are trying to do? The whole routing table, the purpose 
is suppose you're getting traffic uh, into your network. We want to know whether when it comes that a traffic request, whether to send it here or send it here or send it somewhere else. This, this routing is what we are trying to we are we are trying to decide and all that routing information so from destination to the target okay so the routing is is mentioned in this route table so the route table may can have many routes and some traffic comes in, into your network i can specify using this route table where it which route it should take do you want to take this route or this route or uh, any other route so every route has every route has a destination that means specifies the ipv4 cidr and a target where it should be going. Automatically, uh, this route Okay, so what it is saying is here, if we, if we observe, let me use my invisible pencil now one more time to draw with a different color, but I'm just write, uh, writing on top of the arrows that I already have. So this route table has these routes, two routes, one, two those two routes. And this route has this destination and this route has this destination. And every route should have a destination and a target. So we have a destination and we have a destination. Sorry. This is the destination. For this destination, 0000, zero, zero, zero. Local is your local is your uh, target if you follow the arrows, and for for this destination, and for this, this is the subnet traffic, and I, and that is local. So, in a, a, a route, this when whenever you see target as local. That means within the, your VPC, traffic is flowing, how, how it should be flowing. So this subnet is associated with this particular IPv4 block. So we can draw an arrow like that. So this VPC has these subnets and this subnet has this block designated and this one may be this some other block and uh, we need to specify in route table in a in a row uh, one of the routes is uh, this ip address we block attached to local and the another route which is 0, 0.000 slash zero, which means all traffic, basically. That, that, that means all traffic. We'll go to the internet gateway, IGWID, internet gateway. There are lots of internet gateways. So this, basically, this target, this target is nothing but internet gateway ID. That's the ID. Okay, so every VPC 
automatically has a one internet gateway. So if you want to, when, when you specify like that, then this gets attached. All these, all these are assembled and connected. Or you can create your own Now, one of the things, so we talked about implicit and explicit. You have a main, one main main table, which is if you don't explicitly attach, you know, automatically subnet, that subnet will have that uh, thing. So that is the concept of implicit and explicit association. So this address format that you are seeing is IPv4. Suppose IPv6 is, so that means yes or no. Whenever you see is, yes or no. So this one will be connected to yes. This, because this is a IPv4 address. I just mentioned this because I want to make sure that IPv6 addresses have to be explicitly mentioned in the routing table as a different route, route, route as, a, as, a, as a different route. So 0 0.0000 slash 0 does not tell that IPv6 traffic will all IPv6 traffic should go to internet. It is not going to tell you that. So you have to explicitly make one more and then specify IPv6 type of address. So that's why I just do But I don't want to confuse with all that IPv6, whatever applies for IPv4, just IPv6 also it will apply, most of it. Maybe there may be some exceptions, but let's just understand the concepts here. So internet gateway or virtual private gateways. So these can be used for connecting with your corporate uh, data center. Uh, so if, if it is internet gateway means you are going out to the internet, to the world internet. This one, Private gateway means my own corporate world. AWS, I, all these machines and this network, all that is there in AWS cloud. I may have a corporate office where I have some machines and I may want to connect these machines in my v VPC to the corporate uh, data center. Then I, I will use private gateways. Okay. So just that, I just want to mention. So basically, all you have to mainly care here is how when some traffic comes in, when some traffic comes in into your VPC, how that should be directed, would be decided by the route, route table. And then multiple routes can be mentioned. And then all within VPC, local traffic, local, that's word you can use, local. And only one main table will exist and you can create as many route tables as you want. And you can attach those route tables to the subnets. And when whenever you create a new subnet, automatically the main table will be assigned and uh, entries will be populated and uh, let's see what else I want to talk. Okay, I think I covered all the entities. So I think uh, that's it. I, if I explain it again, it's a repeat. So, so if it is too much to digest, just watch it again. I think uh, I want to end this at uh, this point. But uh, for me, it is looking um, very simple at this point of time. Most of the entities are making sense. I don't know about you, but maybe you may have to watch a couple of times. Just imagine 
this whole bunch of objects and there's the concepts they are embedding and then they are behind the scenes AWS is uh, implementing those. This longest prefix match, I, I think that I, that's the only one that I did not talk. So sometimes what happens when you mention your route, route, route tables, multiple routes. So if I have a choice to go here, this way, or this way, or this way, which one it should it should it should go? So my, my traffic is coming from 170 to 30, 1.0. Um, let's say you know it's 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 directed to to this. Uh, sometimes you have a choice, you know how it should go. So what it will do, it will try to match the longest prefix match. So that means uh, whenever you mention zero, like what, what did we say? Zero is dot zero 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 slash zero. So this zero 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 means anything. But when I say 172 to 31.0, then I'm very specific thing. So it will try to match to the specific one first, that is the longest prefix match. It will try to look in this route table that matches the out of these two, let's say just for example purpose, these are the two routes we have. So then if it has to match, it will match and then it will take that the longest one that matches. So if I'm sending this, then it will map to this and this one target is internet gateway and hence it will go to, it will go to uh, internet gateway. So that's basically the, the concept, the longest prefix match. So in the documentation, they ex explain with a couple of examples and all. So you can uh, take a look at it. All right. All right, get in touch with me if you need uh, more explanation in person. So I would be happy to do a Zoom call with you guys and uh, get in touch. Basically, I want to prove that nothing is complex when you explain and abstract these things as entities and understanding the structure, which arrow is connected to what arrows with some data is what you would have to do in order to understand that English text. And that becomes knowledge. And this is what I want to prove to the world. Nothing is complex. All right. Good luck and all the best. Bye-bye for now.